GameRanx presents the 10 best iOS and Android games from December 2015. You punks like mobile games and so do we, so here's a list of a bunch of them. And at number 10 we have Air Attack 2. It's a World War II arcade style shoot 'em up game and it's a lot of fun. It's also really cool to look at because visually there's always a lot going on. There's great destruction, good graphics, pretty cool sound, and it's got 22 levels and it's only a buck. It's totally ridiculous fantasy World War II action and you might be into it. And at number 9 we have Cut the Rope Magic. Cut the Rope Magic is a completely new Cut the Rope game. For those of you who have never played Cut the Rope, it's a game where you cut a bunch of ropes to feed a little son of a bitch little guy. His name is Omnom and he's really cute. And this time around, the graphics are much better, the visual style is totally overhauled, and you can actually transform the little Omnom character into different creatures. This is definitely a puzzle style game, so if you're hooked on Angry Birds and stuff like that, Cut the Rope should be your jam. And this new one is pretty damn good and a good shakeup of the original formula. And at number 8 we have Badland 2. This is the sequel to the critically and commercially successful Badland that was really awesome. The sequel keeps things familiar but really cranks it all up to 11. There's a single player mode and then there's a bunch of online challenges and leaderboards. The game is really gorgeous and you use a two touch control scheme as you navigate across a map as this little thing. While it might look like a knockoff of something else, it is totally innovative and a really, really unique mobile game. And if it's anything like the original Badland, you're going to find yourself replaying levels over and over again. And at number 7 we have Pendragon Rising. Pendragon Rising is an interactive novel where you stare at a bunch of text and read stuff and it's really boring and it's only good if you're old. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, it's a pretty lengthy and well-written adventure that a lot of people have recommended to us. It's a fantasy-based adventure that anybody who likes Dragon Age or Lord of the Rings can fit right into and there's lots of different choices to make that affect the outcome of the story. It's almost like a choose-your-own-adventure page turner and it's pretty unique so that's why we threw it on the list. Anyway, back to real video games, with number 6 we have Geometry Dash Meltdown. This is a rhythm-based action platformer where you navigate your little character across spiky pits, traps, fireballs, and stuff like that. There's lots of different little shakeups here with gravity modifiers and vehicles, and it's all really fun to play along with some cool music. It's kind of like a mix between techno and dubstep, and the visual style and the colors and the music all kind of gets pretty exciting, especially if you play with headphones. It's a good platform to really get into a groove with, if you know what I mean. And at number 5 we have A Good Snowman is Hard to Build, which I chose completely just because of the title. Now, nah, but in all seriousness though, this is a really, really well designed game. You navigate this little hilariously animated character across a maze to find all the balls to collect to make a snowman. And that's really it. It's simple, it's challenging, it's a good little puzzle game, and the visual design and music is really good. This has been a Steam game for a while and it's finally made its way over to iOS. There's a lot of levels here and it'll get pretty challenging. You'll definitely get your 5 bucks worth. And at number 4, speaking of getting your money's worth, we have Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Liberty City Stories, for those of you that don't know, was originally a GTA Liberty City based PSP game. And, you know, surprise, it's really good. It's basically anything you wanted from an early GTA game like Vice City. It's all here. And it's in the familiar city you know and love from Grand Theft Auto 3. This time around you got a new character and a lot of added stuff to the game world like motorcycles. Rockstar's GTA ports have been pretty damn good on mobile and this one is no slouch and it's definitely worth picking up if you love some Grand Theft Auto. And at number 3 we have Metro 2033 Wars. This is a turn-based open world RTS strategy style RPG game. I know I just threw out every single genre at you, but parts of it don't really feel too unique, but what is cool about it is the setting. It's based off the Metro 2033 novels and games, which are pretty damn awesome, that you're free to explore, inhabit, and loot. There's a bunch of different factions, you can build your own stuff, and there's a story. There's really a lot to this game, and it's surprising considering it really slipped under the radar most places. And the fact that it's in that Metro 2033, universe is definitely clutch for some people. I know that's definitely why I tried it, and I'm glad I did. You should too. And at number two, we have Power Hover. Power Hover is a really cool, seemingly endless runner style game that just really is abstract and kind of artsy and really pretty and kind of almost relaxing. It's got these dynamic zooms and bits where there's cinematic camera angles and kind of showing off the environment. The music and the environments and everything is really, really good, but the game eventually picks up in terms of challenge. And while at first, and judging by the video, it looks pretty generic, the more you dig into it, the more it feels really kind of special. It's a cool spin on this genre. It's hard to explain this game and like why it's so good but we put it high on our list because it's very cool.
And at number one, we have Rayman Adventures. This game is really fucking good. This is an addicting little Rayman runner game, but it's just great. It's got that Rayman Legends visual style, and it's got a bit more meat on its bones compared to the other Rayman iOS running games. This one's got a ton of collectibles, little characters that you can utilize, hidden areas and puzzles, and of course, those amazing visuals and really awesome music. It's free to play, and there are in-app purchases and some free to play bullshit, but most of it can be ignored. And that's a good thing because this is just a good Rayman game, and there's like 25 different world, so this will keep you hooked for a while. So guys, those were our favorite iOS and Android games from December 2015. Of course, a ton of these games come out every month, so we want to know what mobile games you guys have been playing down in the comments below. If you did learn about a cool game or two from us, click the like button because that helps us out a ton. And if you're new, subscribing is a good idea because we put out videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.